Living in the middle of a vast protected reserve, the Sierra Madre Oriental. All this was once forest land. Now beans, chilies and especially corn are grown here. The corn is important for the family. We don't sell any of it. There's no sign of irrigation on the fields. The people rely on the rains and the cloud forests that dominate this part of the Sierra Madre Oriental. Clouds accumulate on the mountain slopes, triggering precipitation. The moist ecosystem is home to various species. But the cloud forests are shrinking and agriculture is taking over the land. Alejandro von Bertrab is worried. He supports the Mexican authorities that protect the area with one clear goal. To create new and innovative incentives and develop projects with the people where they can, of course, use the land and where it's not threatening. The team from the German development organization GIZ is visiting the protected area, mainly to listen to the locals. This farmer is talking about how pomegranates and avocados used to grow here. But deforestation has changed the soil texture. It's become much drier. The village of Haltepec is the focus of the project. Today, the people have been invited to a workshop. It deals with their future and how to live in the protected area without further destroying the forests. The scientists are seeking solutions, together with the residents. After all, the villagers know the land and the local weather patterns better than anyone. Usually, experts come to such communities with preconceived notions. These are the problems, these are the solutions. We are trying to take another approach. The project has led to a concrete change, a hundred kilometers away in San Nicolas. This firefighting unit was set up last year. When they're not fighting fires, they cut fire breaks in the forest to prevent fires from spreading. The other villages laugh at us for doing this, but let them laugh. We know how important the forests are for us. Alejandro von Bertrab welcomes that attitude. He's counting on the fact that awareness of the environment will continue to grow and so will the forests.